Start a new game here. Gotta have the original name. It's no question about it in a Zelda game. It's about one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the light li land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then a day came when a wind fell began to blow across the kingdom. A fell wind. <laughs> the great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find the heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the use to know courage like the hero of legend. Hey, look at that. The novel is over. Outset Island. Big Brother. Big Brother. <laughs> Big Brother.
he'd be here. He he he. This is my favorite spot to gaze out at sea. When I play with the goals, I call it Errol's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came here to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Alright, that felt weird to read all that dialogue. I'm gonna have to get used to it, because these games have lots of dialogue. Alright, I'm playing on an, em on an M emulator. So I have it upscaled a bit, it seems to be recording fine. Kind of a shame I had to turn off the sound, but I couldn't just turn off music or sound effects. I had to turn off all of it because this game has fantastic music. So if you're ever playing it, definitely don't turn off the sound. All right, I haven't played this in a quite a long time. going to Grandma's house. Okay, and I'm going the wrong way. Ah, I just love the art style of this game. I love the controls, the story, the characters, the adventure. It's all fantastic. Now, if you don't know about Legend of Zelda games, you, uh, I don't know, you go through a bunch of different dungeons, they're called, which are like levels. But, uh, the adventure between each of the dungeons is important too. Get to talk to everyone, let's talk to her. Oh, Link, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister Errol find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother is looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day and she said she wanted to learn to carry jars on her head like me so she could help your grandma with chores. So if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar, press A to carry it. To put the jar down, she has to press R. Can you tell her that for me? Indeed I will. Um, your grandma was calling for you, Link. And so was my mom. Okay. Oi, Link. Press left trigger right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. Correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just L targeted me. You see, when you press left trigger, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press L to face forward, you know? It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use L targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. Alright. Yeah, so basically this whole island is a sort of tutorial. You learn how you start your adventure. The mechanics are basically the same through all the Zelda games. You're growing up, Link, which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can to get from this point forward. If you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now, I was born before you, 
So I know all sorts of things. Yes, I've been studying all manner of topics for many years now. Now I can tell you're a smart lad. Lately, I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and I think you're the one I'm going to pass it down to. Count yourself lucky, lad. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. Such a racket. Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan. <laughs> Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother, who lives just downstairs. He hates studying. All day, every day, he allowed just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. The brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does is study the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot, as if that's of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Alright, now all these on the wall, they're just little tutorials, so I'm not going to read through any of them since I've been playing Zelda for a long time. I said his brother was downstairs. I'm assuming I'll go through a little fighting tutorial. Well, I know I will. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Link, is that you? If I recall correctly, today you're the same age as the legendary hero. When did you get so old? You must be built. You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles. You've come at the perfect moment, and I was just trying my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. Are you ready? Just run as fast as you can, then press A. That's how you perform a rolling attack. If you think you understand, then try to roll into the wall. Go on, young one. Such a racket. Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan. Ah, my brother upstairs is very high-strong. His is the way of knowledge. He locks himself in his room and studies all day. He's quite wise. But with that big head of his, he's hardly accommodating. On top of it all, he's so very feeble at times. I'm ashamed to call him my brother. But enough of that, Link. I sense the natural talent that beats in your veins. But you need more than talent to make in the world today. You must also be bold, and to that end, I shall teach you the art of sword play. What say you? Do you wish to practice your skills with the sword? No, I already know how to play, so I'm going to see if he'll just let me go. Do not begrudge the effort required to build strength. If you change your mind, come see me. I'll be happy to train you. Whew. Sorry. I'm going to be out of breath <laughs> by the time this video is over. Well, lots of dialogue in these vein, uh, games. I'm pretty sure. Almost forgot what I was doing there for a second. Uh, maybe she's upstairs. Ah. Uh -huh. I've been waiting for you, Link. Link. Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Oh yeah, you got the hero's clothes. 
<laughs> they look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It's the day that you become the same age as the young heroes spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. This is who we just talked to. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Link? They fit, suit you perfectly. Perfect fit? Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better get start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite suit for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Errol. <laughs> I just love the character designs. There's a lot of things I like about this game. Whoa. Yeah, who needs ladders? As you can see on the top right, it always shows what buttons do what. Since most of the buttons in these games are context sensitive, as in, if you're not moving, A doesn't do anything. But if you are, then it's attack, will roll. If you're moving, R doesn't do anything. But if you're staying still, it crouches. I'm playing on a See in here it says, sidle, siddle, sidle. When you're standing next to a wall, I'm playing on an Xbox controller. It's a good thing that it has the same buttons, pretty much. I'm gonna smash this pot here. But there's rupees in it, which is the currency in this game. And it just all fell off. That's okay, I got one. On the bottom right, of course, is the mini-map. The blue is where you just came out of. So, that's where that would be. And the yellow is the player, obviously. Now, there are certain essential items to every Zelda game. It's a sword and shield. Well, at first. Later on, you get other, other items. I'm gonna talk to her here. Oh, Link, you look cute as a bug in that outfit. I suppose I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell the truth, I could congratulate myself too. We just filled it, finished building our little hutch and paddock today. Isn't it a delightful addition to the place? I was actually thinking of getting a pet, keeping it there. Boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. What it gets like these days. Listen, dearie, if you see any good pets around, be a lamb and just bring one here. If you do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but won't tell your grandma about it, will we? And you know, I saw a pig running around here earlier. I wonder if that would work. Let's give it a shot. Uh, ah, whoops. The secret to lifting jars is to stand in front of them and press A. And don't forget to tell Errol to set jars down with R, okay? Sorry, I'm talking a little fast. But there we go. Oh, that's not a pleasant sound. It's a good thing I'm not playing the sound. Well, I can hear it, but you can't. I'll throw the pig in here. Talk to her again. Why did you bring that little piglet all the way?
the way here just for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You sweetie. Okay, Link. Hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Ooh, a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. Why, this is a little darling as cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind having even more of them. I guess she'll give me money every time I bring one to her. So you may have noticed, if you pick up a green rupee, it just counts as one. You have your inventory on the bottom right there. A blue is... ten... five... Oh, I don't remember. I'll just have to get a blue one and explain on the way. But yes, the different colors are the different amounts. So, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I need to get my sister. And I see her right up on the lookout, I believe. And I'll talk to that guy later. setting, a remote, peaceful little island. It's so relaxing, I think. So long ladder to get my sister. <laughs> Some little pelicans walking around. Ahoy, big brother. Grandma make that outfit for you. But wow, you'd look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. <laughs> I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I like where this is going. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday. You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to Y, Z, or X and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now and see what you can see. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? He, he, he. Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. All right. So, the way you set items is to go into your start menu. You have items here. You can choose your different items. If you press R or L, you can look here, quests, go into some options. Your, uh, your extra life status, some other various various statuses. Press R. Oh, those are the only two screens. All right. So I'm guessing you just hover over it and press either Y or Z or X. I'm going to assign it to Y. There we go. It's set. I'm going to press Y. And whoa, whoa, controls are inverted. Alright. Using a C stick to zoom in, because you should be. Now, what is that? How's the postman? The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Ah, Link, sky. Look up in the sky. Okay, okay. Oh no. That's a girl.
just awesome for some reason. <laughs> Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. True. I definitely need a sword. And shield, obviously. Maybe I'll just borrow one from Grandma's house there. Maybe I'll just swim there. I love the water dynamics in this game, for example. So, you have your little, uh, little waves here. Water's completely clear out here. You have your little ripples, of course. Then farther out, you have your bigger waves, and you even have storms. Look at the sky. Some little crabs. <laughs> Uh, yes. I'll talk to this guy, see what he's doing. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Ooh, see, look at that black one right there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to grab it, Link? Now you just can't run up on it. Pigs are too alert about their surroundings. You just jog up and capture one. But that's what I did last time. But okay, sir. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold R to crouch and tilt the directional stick to crawl slowly up behind it. Slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. Right, I'm going to try to crawl towards it. Oh, there it is. Across the grass there. We get some more money from giving that to her. Ah, perfect. The uh, the lady that wanted the pets. So let's see what she gives us. And there's two. Why did you bring me another piglet? Oh, were you all worried that this little guy would get? lonely, hanging out outside the fence, out inside the fence all by himself. It's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Here's another little something for you. Another red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. If you find any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. I could definitely get used to that money. Money. You may have noticed, in these games, you don't have to uh, press any buttons to crawl or jump. It's all automatic. So if I just walk up to anything that I can't just walk over, automatically jump up. And if I move off of it, it'll just automatically jump. Same with cliffs, like this one right here. But I'm not going to do that, because I might get hurt. Well, I can do it here. If you jump into the water, then you won't get hurt. Now, I have a decent amount of money. So before I get my sword to see what's up with that girl, I'm going to visit the little shop here, which are these boats with this guy on them, see if I can buy anything good. I'm not sure what's available. Let's see how I get up there. Yeah, you just walk up to that barrel, go right in. Okay, looks like there's a pig bait, some berries, and I'm not sure what that is. Let's find out. Oh, a customer. Welcome to Beetle Ship Shop Ship. <laughs> Beetle Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. That's quite inappropriate, I think. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Oh, you could just use directional pad to browse. Let's see, bait bag. This whole 
Bones bait. It's quite useful, and it's my very last one. You can't buy bait if you don't have a bag like this. That's 20 rupees. All-purpose bait. It's good things to have. Good things happen to those who feed this stuff to animals. Do you have a bait bag? Oh, fine, customer mine. That's 10 rupees. I don't know if that's worth, worth half the price of the bait bag, but whatever. And the Hyoi, 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 Ho, Hyoi. <laughs> there. It's 10 rupees. Can't buy this anywhere else. Only here. I'm serious. Now's your chance. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, I don't think I really need any of this stuff right now. So I was just looking. He says, bye, come again. I'm just going to leave here, but I'll keep this stuff in mind. All right. I'm going to go to my house. sword. It looks like I need to go up there to uh, cross that bridge there and rescue that girl. So let's see if I can grab that shield and sword. game in the Zelda series, the... Oh, one second. Very good. Next is the thrust. Left target, then tilt forward and press B. Come at me, thrust with your sword. Okay. Anyway, the first Zelda game, well, 3D Zelda game, Ocarina of Time, uh, invented the left targeting, or what's it called, the targeting system. Anyway, next is the spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength, then release it. 
or rotate directional pad once and press B. It's not the D-pad, it's the uh, stick, whatever it's called. Press B. Alright. Hold B. That's not fair. Hold B briefly and release it to do a spin attack. Okay. There we go. Very good. More. Keep it up. Oops. I was trying to rotate the stick and tap B. Oh, I see. You have to do it in a circle, I think. There we go. If you do the stick in a circle and then press B, it'll do the same thing. Next is harder. This is a parry attack. L target until you see A, then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. It's a very important move in this game. It's more. It's a, basically a counterattack. Very helpful. Very good. And again, left target. Watch closely for A. I'll call it spazzy A. If you notice the sword, sword glows too. Very good. Now finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword, L target, and press A. Alright. Come at me once more. Now this isn't pressing anything, just targeting and A. Uh, I guess you have to be far away. No. There we go. That was weird. That was a fine display. Ooh, we're finished. And yet I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You have accepted the hero sword. Wield it with B. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, the sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. Alright, got a sword of my very own. Very nice. Now besides, Using the sword to attack enemies. You can obviously use it to cut out everything else. So you can cut bushes, you can cut grass, you can cut the trees. And grass infamously, in, infamous, infamously holds uh, rupees usually. So you need to cut all the grass you can if you're running low on change. You can cut pots too instead of throwing them. Got these trees here to get to this yellow ruby. Ooh, apparently the yellow or golden, the golden rubies are uh, ten worth ten. I want to get up there to get to that blue ruby, but I wonder how I do that. I might need to. Uh, I need to be up there. Be able to jump down. Maybe I can somehow get on this house. No? Oh well. I believe the maximum amount of rupees you can hold is 99 until you upgrade your wallet. Ooh, here's a bunch of grass I can cut. Use my spin move. Okay, maybe I'm a liar, and there are no rupees in the grass. Aha, there's one. Two. Even the petals fall off of the flowers. I love the attention, or the attention to detail. 
the uh, this game has, the game designers had, I should say. I'm kind of OCD about cutting grass. I'm like halfway done, I can't stop now. Some people, you'll understand, won't you? Get some money too, so why not? Almost finished with the grass. CD is satisfied. Oh man. There's a there's a pig here. But the uh, lady's way over there. Might as well just grab it and fill up my wallet. All the way. Then I'll uh I'll stop the video. And uh yeah, stop it right before I rescue the girl. I could title this video the tutorial. Tutorial Island. And I like the name for the island. Outset Island, as in your outsetting on adventure. Just makes me feel like a regular old adventurer. Ooh, look at this one. You sure do know where to find the cutest pigs on the Great Sea. Hey, oinker. Oink, oink. <laughs> oh, now things will be ever so much more lively in the pen. It'll be like a big pig jamboree in there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, that's right. I can't let you leave without giving you a present. Happy birthday, Link. All right. Another red ruby. Oh. I guess you better think up some names for these winky winkies, huh? So I am a liar. I just passed 99 amid 109 rubies. She looks like she has something to say. What was that noise? It was awful. You better return home quickly. Sound like that can only mean trouble. You know what I'd do if trouble came my way? I'd throw rocks to fight it off. You could handle that, couldn't you? It's easy, just stand in front of a rock and press A to lift it. Press A again to throw it. If you just want to set the rock back down, press R. Do you understand? Yes, you're so helpful. Because you just told me to do that with the pots. Alright, let's climb up this up this mountain here. See see what's going on. Tower to the left, the forest of fear, forest of fairies to the right. You can even cut the sign. So if you do a horizontal, slice it in half. If you do a vertical, cuts in a fourth. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop gushing about how much I like this game. All right, I'm going up, going up the mountain. Ah. You can obviously get on this roof and... Oh. One green rupee. That was... Definitely worth my time. Alright. What does this say? It says, no entry. Forest paths are clod closed. Until suspension bridge repairs are complete. Well, I say nay. I can fix that. I think it's open now. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore that. It's gonna kill me inside. But I'll ignore it. Alright, the music so far has been this jaunty little tune. <laughs> <laughs> 
but as we're walking up it's getting quieter and quieter you can hear the sounds of the wind because obviously you're higher up and it's very windy uh, that's obviously the way to the to the forest right, let's see what's up here uh, nothing much besides some grass. Can't help myself. Alright. Let's read this sign here. It says, Fairy Fountain Sight Ahead. Increase your fortune. Well, that person who fell from the bird wasn't very fortunate. <laughs> Alright, well. Before I cross this bridge, I'm going to stop the video, look out for part two, if I ever make it. I have a bad habit of just making one part videos and never getting around to the rest. But uh, thanks for watching.